Hey Kelly Stacks here, American Irrigator, trying to make you a better irrigator. Today in this video, we're gonna take this Rainbird controller. It's the ESP ME3 controller, and we're gonna turn it into a Wi-Fi controller using Rainbird's Link2 Wi-Fi module. You can use this Link2 Wi-Fi module on the ESP, the ME, the ME3, and the TM2. Now, if there's some other ones it works on, put a comment and let me know. But as far as I know, those are the three that it works on. Now, there's really a lot of good reasons why you want to change your controller to a Wi-Fi controller. But some of the main reasons are it makes it very easy to turn it on and off. You can do a rain delay. So if you've got some bad weather coming in, if it's rain or freezing weather, you can cut the controller off right there on your phone and don't have to come to the controller and turn it on and off. The other thing is if you want to check your sprinklers, man, it makes it so easy to use your phone and you can check each individual zone, do a sprinkler check and adjust run times. Anything you need to do, you can do it all right there on your phone. It makes it really easy. What we've got here today is we're at actually at a bank. We're in a fire riser room, which is actually, believe it or not, very hard to get into because no one knows where the key is to this place. When we do sprinkler checks, we've got to go in, find the key, get somebody to verify who we are, and because they change people all the time, get into the room, turn it on, check the sprinklers. I mean, it's a big, long process. But now, turning this into Wi-Fi, we're going to be able to come check this sprinkler system basically anytime. No one has to be here, and we can do it all right on our phone, turning them on and off, adjusting things blowing heads out if we need to. And then we can also, if we've got freezing weather, I can delay this and it won't come on, cause us some bad freezing problems on sidewalks and streets and stuff. Well, let's go ahead and put this in and I'll show you how to hook it up. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take this out of the box, put it in our controller. So it comes in a little box. And that's all there is to it, it's just a little module. Just like that. There's a five, it's got five pin little thing there. It hooks right in the back. You wanna make sure you leave the power on the controller. And these have a little spot that says remote or accessory. And it, I mean, real easy to put in. You wanna make sure you don't bend the pins when you're putting it in, but it slides right in. And when it starts out, it's gonna have this, have a blue and what it's doing right now is it's sending a Bluetooth signal. Now we'll get on our phone, get this thing hooked up. So what you'll do is you'll download this Rainbird app here. When you're ready, you just click on it. Here's some controllers I have, but you wanna add controller. It's gonna bring up the different controllers that you can have. And then you click on the one that you've got. Once you get into here, very simple, just follow the wizard. It walks you through everything. I mean, it's the easiest thing in the world to do. Once you get it all done, I love this. Congratulations. You can now access this controller from anywhere in the world. Yes. So if you're looking for a good option, if you wanna switch over to a controller that you can hook up to Wi-Fi and run off your phone, I highly recommend Rainbird Setup. I think it's one of the best. Hunter has a good one too, but I really do like the Rainbird Wi-Fi controllers. I'll put links in the description below, that way you can go check it out. And then after that, watch this video right here.